Welcome back to the Awesome Nerd Show. I am Zio bringing you more DC Multiverse figures from McFarlane Toys. And this time we have the Arkham Asylum figures of Batman and Joker. So these are pretty cool. I love the Arkham games, but especially Arkham Asylum itself. I just absolutely love that game. Just such a fun time playing it back when it came out. So it's awesome to get figures from it. So a Batman and of course his specialized suit for the game and stuff with the very long gear stuff at the top, which is cool. And he comes with a bunch of accessories and then we get the Joker. So we have like the taller, lankier Joker and a good villain in the game and stuff. And he comes with some accessories as as well so this is a pretty cool set from McFarland toys so they just keep trucking along giving us more figures of course most of them are batman and i know that makes people unhappy but i like a lot of the versions they're choosing so it's okay with me so i'm excited to check out more McFarlands here and open these figures up so let's go ahead and do that and check these out so we're starting off with batman here this again looks really cool it's another good McFarland figure there's not a lot of issues i have with it except for the normal like ball joint issues with the hands and feet just because of the limitations but other than that it's a really good looking figure and i really like this a lot so it's gonna just have another batman Batman. so we've seen many Batmans before so up top we have the cow with the cape and the cow has the big long ears going into it and stuff and you can see his face there it's nothing too drastic or different it looks like he's got the blue eyes in there and stuff nice sharp point there on the nose and stuff so it looks very nice there and then that goes into the cape that goes all the way down the back to the ground where it's got all the points cut out into it and you can see it's kind of like curled up and stuff because as you stand him up you can't like get too close to him because it pushes him forward so you have to kind of keep it out some so he can stand up so that's just one little thing but that helps him stand up so it's not really too bad there and then we go down to his outfit so again he has like this new like armored style outfit on at least that's what it looks like to me it looks like he's got some armored stuff with like the additional like padding and stuff and you can see with like little dots going in throughout it so i assume he's got like a more heavier armor on here the nice big bat logo there right across his chest of course stands out really well then we got his belt on so he has bat belt there it's all like a nice dark gold color with all sorts of pockets and everything going on to it he's got gauntlets on his arm with his spikes as usual and the gloves on and then this one has the black underwear there so you can see right there the gray continues down again like the padded legs which go into the boots which has some additional armor pieces like there on the shins especially over the black boots and stuff again just some more armor and then the boots at the bottom which look a little weird to me they look I'm almost like real life shoes or something they're just a little bit weird design just the way they are it's a little bit weird for me but for movements for the figure so we got the head that can twist all the way around he can look down like that and up that far so that's as far as he goes then his shoulders so he does have a butterfly joint there so it allows it to go back and forth as you can see that much there but then his actual shoulder comes up at least 90 degrees there can't really get it higher because the cape then can rotate within the cape there then he's got a single elbow joint that bends about 90 degrees and then the wrist can twist around and flex there on the ball again it's whichever way the ball joint is as well you have to deal with which is why i don't like him and then we've got his crunch so he doesn't really crunch too much so if we stand him up he crunches forward you know, just about that much not too much he again can crunch back more i don't know why they always do figures can crunch back more than they do forward never makes sense to me but he has a crunch right there out of his chest so you can see right under it so that's where he twists and everything so that's how you get the twist in him and just has a little bit of rocker movement going on in there but then he has a lower joint as well right at the waist which you think would be like where the twist is but it doesn't twist at all it's just an additional rocker piece so that's where you get the additional movement like back and forth down there so just a little bit different it seems to me then we got the hips so the legs come out about 90 degrees again you have to stretch them out just because the underwear part here get in the way but then they come out completely 90 degrees so you can do the splits then we've got his double knee joint that can bend up and go about that far there so not too bad then the foot again that's on the ball there you can see the ball and so the ball straight on for this so it can rock back and forth there and then it has some like twisty and it can twist all the way around and stuff so just usual and the little toe joints there at the end as well so again everything on this figure is nice except for the ball joints it's kind of weird to get him to stand up it seems like i hate the ball joints just because you can only move the back and forth in one direction usually and so it's a little bit annoying but it's batman so he comes with a lot of accessories so he comes with a grapple gun here so very nice looking gun nice big old grapple there and then you know looks kind of like a bat design almost like an h so for this version but we'll go ahead and put that in his hand and then of course he's got to have batteries so we get two different versions of battery here so it's obviously the same battery it's folded up at this point and then when it's extended out and he actually throws it which always a part that annoyed me with the game was when you had the controlled battery and you had the fly it around and hit the switch and stuff i always crashed it all the time but we got a battering there too so that's awesome as well so we'll stick that into his hand but now we have the issue again of like all these accessories so like this obviously we could probably try and stick it just in his belt just to put it somewhere just stick it in like that but then obviously that's <laughs> where it goes and doesn't look very good and then he also comes with a bat bomb here so a little like gas bomb thing pellet that he can shoot off fun little thing there that would obviously fit in his hands too as well he of course comes with the stand that all the mcfarland dc figures come with so we'll just pop him on the stand there hopefully that'll help him stand up a little more 
anymore. And finally, we have his card. So, of course, there's a picture of him from Arkham Asylum there. So, pretty cool looking, pretty, you know, pretty accurate and everything. Then we go around the back. So, from Batman Arkham Asylum and his data files, so we have Batman Arkham Asylum from Video Game 2009. Bruce Wayne, 6'2", 210 pounds. Says, when his parents were gunned down in front of him, young Bruce Wayne resolved to rid Gotham City of the criminal element that took their lives. He trained extensively to achieve mental and physical perfection, in addition to mastering martial arts detective techniques and criminal psychology. Dressing as a bat to prey on criminal fears, Batman fights crime with the aid of specialized gadgets and vehicles operating out of a secret bat cave below Wayne Manor. So, of course, the normal Batman story we've all heard there before. But that's, again, another really nice looking figure. I just hate the ball joints. That's about the only thing bad about this figure to me, but it looks really good beyond that. And then, of course, we gotta have the Joker to go along with Batman, and this was always a cool, fun little Joker to me. I just always like his, like, long and lankiness, being super skinny and stuff. Then, of course, his voice by Mark Hamill just was, like, perfect for me all around. And his outfit, of course, is, like, spot on Joker and stuff. Just obviously, like, a more, like, darker, macabre version of that. And then the face paint and hair design stuff. Just crazy. But if we look at it up there, of course, he's got the normal green Joker hair. But this time, it's all, like, spiked up and flowing. Big old smile and green eyebrow stuff. We'll see that closer in a second. Purple suit, yellow vest on with a yellow shirt underneath and you can see the frills coming out there. Green bow tie, flower on his lapel. He has a belt buckle on with the classic like Joker logo head on it. He has a gold chain going down into his pocket which kind of makes like a backward J which is cool. And the pants go down to the feet where he's got the black shoes on with the white coverings over the top of him. So very cool fun looking Joker and I like his suit has the tails on it. So just a very cool looking Joker overall. So if you look at his face, there's his face. It looks very creepy, very weird and demented. Of course perfectly fit for Joker. Nice big long chin that comes to a point and stuff. Just I love the overall design of this Joker but the head just looks cool overall and as you can see a closer look there at his suit and you can see all the designs and details going into the suit. All the texture that they included into it and everything just looks super nice all the way down. But for movements they're gonna be about pretty much the same as Batman so his head can twist there all the way around. He can look down and up about that far. Shoulders do come out 90 degrees. It does have the same thing for the butterfly joint but his does not move at all. I don't know if it's just stuck or what but he doesn't really have any butterfly joint joint at all but it can rotate all the way around he has the bicep twist a double elbow joint and since he's so like skinny and everything his joints can move pretty well so he can pretty much come all the way back up 180 degrees there and stuff so that's pretty cool then his wrist twist around and flex again on that ball then with the way he's designed like with his suit and everything you don't get to see his ab crunch but he does have a crunch but it seems like a weird different one you can kind of see up in there the way it's designed he just has one joint and but it allows for really good range of movement so he can go that far forward really far back so he's got really good movements in there at his crunch and then he twists in there as well so that's a pretty good joint then his legs come up again 90 degrees like batman's then out to the side 90 degrees so he can do the splits then his double knee joint like can fold up all the way to kick his own butt which is cool and then his foot is on the same ball joint because again the, his pants leg and stuff you don't get a whole lot of movement in there and i think the ball is off so i can't even get his foot to rock back and forth on it so that's unfortunate but it, it does have some twist that can go on in there and then it also has the toe joint on the end of it so again another great figure and again just the ball joints are the only issues but this joker just looks incredible i absolutely love this it just looks amazing and for his accessories he comes with a gun because he did use a gun in the game so we'll go ahead and put the gun into his hand and i'm quite surprised they didn't include the gun that has like the bang flag and stuff on it that just kind of surprised me he also comes with some chattering teeth which if you played the game those are a part they're always like scattered around you'd have to destroy them. so it's cool that we got one that's open and one that's closed and stuff and of course has the little wind up device thing on it and stuff so pretty cool there we he does have a hand it looks like he can hold it we'll have to see how well he holds of course it probably won't stand up very well though with it so i was able to get him to hold the teeth but i kind of just slid his teeth in between his like fingers and stuff like these two fingers uh, is the little wind up part i was able to get in there so he kind of holds it like that so it doesn't hold it perfectly but he can at least hold the teeth in his hand which is cool he of course comes with the stand so i'll just pop him on that and then of course we have his card so there's again the picture of the joker there i think pretty good representation and transition there so it's joker from arkham asylum so arkham asylum 2009 once again his real name is unknown he's six foot tall 160 pounds and it says an insanely homicidal super villain, the Joker's white skin, green hair, and blood red lips belie the chaotic nature underlying his cartoonish appearance. The self-styled clown prince of crime has no superpowers beyond a capacity for incredible violence and a skill at creating deadly mayhem. He frequently concocts elaborate schemes to entrap his nemesis, Batman. So pretty just basic there for the Joker. But once again, I think this is an absolutely incredible figure, and I can't recommend it enough if you like Arkham Asylum. So that's gonna be it for the McFarlane DC Multiverse Batman and Joker from Batman Arkham Asylums. I think these are both pretty 
good figure. So if you don't have a Batman, this one would do just fine, especially if you like the look with the longer count stuff. But if you don't, I completely understand just skipping out on this one. It's just another Batman figure. But the Joker, I think, is incredible. Obviously, it doesn't go along perfectly with all the other figures because it's the game version. But I just think this version is absolutely incredible. Just all its movements and everything are just perfect for the Joker. So I can't recommend that Joker enough. But let me know your pins down in the comments down below. But thank you all for checking out this video today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to check out our Wonder Woman figures over here on the left and all our DC Multiverse figures on the right. Thank you all for watching this video. Remember to stay awesome out there and I'll see you next time.